other. Today, we will perform an experiment to measure the friction loss and ultimately to find out the friction losses and friction factor. For a fluid flowing through a pipe, the losses will be of two types, minor losses and major losses. As name suggests, minor losses will be less in magnitude whereas major losses contributes more towards total losses. Minor losses consist of due to change in direction of the flow, due to change in the diameter whether it will be decrease in diameter or increase in diameter at entry or at the exit. All these losses in a fluid flow are considered as minor losses. Whereas the friction losses between the fluid flowing into the pipe and the friction between the inner surface of pipe. So these friction losses are considered as major losses because for long pipelines these friction losses are prominent and comparatively more in magnitude than the minor losses. So today in this experiment we will be considering the minor, major losses only that is friction losses and we will be measuring the friction factor for the given pair of fluid and the pipe. Now in this experimental setup we have two pipes one is of 3 fourth inch diameter and another one is of half inch diameter. So for these two pipes we will be measuring the friction losses and by darcy bridgewatch equation we will compare it the same with actual losses and we will be finding out the friction factor. So in this experiment we have a base tank, pump, then flow is directed either to the half inch diameter pipe or the 3 fourth inch diameter pipe. We have the two locations at which we will be measuring the pressure heads or the difference between pressure head means ultimately the friction losses by using this inverted U2 manometer. The manometric fluid is itself water again by using which we will be measuring that pressure difference. It is a constant cross-sectional pipe also at the same height so only the change in pressure will give us the energy required to maintain the flow between these two points. To know the actual velocity we have this measuring tank and we will redirect this flow and we will measure the time required to give rise in this measuring tank by some known value so that we can also find out the velocity also which is required in darcy Bridgewatch equation which is given by HF that is friction losses is equal to 4 F L V square upon 2 G D where F is the friction factor L is the length between these two points where we are taking this pressure readings V is the velocity upon G constant and D is the diameter of the pipe. Now here the readings which we have to take are first of all we will start the pump and we will redirect the flow one by one initially for the half inch diameter pipe and then for the 3 fourth inch diameter pipe. Here we have two taps, these arrangements given and these pipes or these tubes are connected to this inverted YouTube manner. Because Having a piezometer like Bernoulli's experiment at this stage, very high height piezometers will not be practically good and possible to measure the readings. That's why we will be using this inverted U2 manometer and connection from these two tabs are given to this inverted U2 manometer. So the difference between the pressure head at these two points we will be measuring at different flow rates so that for the same pipe we can have three to four different readings. Then once we take this pressure difference at the same flow rate, flow rate can be adjusted by using this bypass wall or these control walls. So here also the control walls are provided for each pipe, 3 4 inch and half inch diameter. Okay. So by using this flow control walls we can adjust the flow rate. Then we can measure the actual flow rate. So this is the measuring tank whose cross-sectional area is already given. Here we have a glass tube with the scale 
so that for known height will record the time required the rise of height and we can calculate the actual flow rate q then by using the continuity equation q is equal to cross section area of the pipe into the velocity we get the velocity of water or velocity average velocity of the flow so now we will start taking readings now we will see how to take readings first of all we will be starting from the flow has started we have to adjust the minor wall and the flow control wall so that we can take readings adjust it okay now this flow control wall is closed so no water is going to be flowing on this side right water is only flowing to this second half is that this wall is open and here you can see the flow is here we will keep it open so that measuring tank will be empty and we can take readings okay now the first of all we have to take the pressure difference between these two points so here it is inverted into parameter why it is inverted the connections are from the bottom so it is a inverted into parameter now we will take readings of the inverted into parameter so here you can see this is the water level in this so this is this that and the water level here is between the difference between these two so it is the most 47 and here it is 60 so this is the high difference of water in the inverted into parameter so difference between this is actual hm we will be get now next we will measure the actual flow rate we have a stopwatch with us we will measure the flow and from R1 and R2 for the known rise we will be getting this so start and stop for the known rate so that we can find out the actual flow rate Thank you. 